You're back for more. The control trial tests the hunter's ability to rein in the Storm Slinger's power. Only the wisest understand these shamanic weapons, and only the bravest wield them. I'll start counting after you've taken the rope down. We'll need a moment to pull the machines from the pa- You took first place by the throat. Before you, it was... The Onslaught Trial challenges a hunter to withstand the ebb and flow of combat. Machines will be released into the arenas in waves. Pace yourself. Strategize. Only then will you be able to defeat them all without being overwhelmed. It begins after you descend that rope to the arena. We'll need a moment to pull the machines from the past. Fight or run.
first among all the other hunters. They were good Banuk. Determined, competitive. Not enough for you. The Chieftain's Trial is a challenge that will push even the mightiest hunter to their limits. Only the largest, most dangerous machines will be loosed into the arenas. Learn their weaknesses quickly, and do what you can to exploit them. To best them and survive, that is an ordeal worthy of a chieftain. If you're prepared, take the rope and face the trial. We'll need a moment to pull the machines from the pass into the arenas. Then make your descent. With that effort, you unseated a great chieftain. None who come here will doubt your prowess. Not when I tell it. No more trials. Not yet. You can always come back.
our sun king. Can we even call ourselves Kaja? At least Ian was still alive. The Vod wasn't so charitable where his father was going. Soon. Every time I glance up at the city. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until Honora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the Earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for identiscan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you kidding me? You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. Of everything. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. <laughs> we? Last I checked, I was the one whisking my life down here. Yes, fine. Now will you please get moving? There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. <sighs> Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. A smaller room. Proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. What? What was this place? A holographic theater. ZD01 data intact. Initiating playback. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris. 
Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it. I <coughs> waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Kestrels. They got in. Through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? A tomb? Tribal primitives stop us now. The data points, what do they contain? bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life 
a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about, and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stalks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. So, the whole Earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes, by a machine. A machine of creation. What is it did this? For life? For us? Why Hades, then? If it was part of Gaia, how'd it end up in the wreckage of a feral robot? And why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the archive of knowledge, what happened to that? And Hephaestus, taking over Cyan. I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead.
Intruder! Get her! It's a girl! Whatever you do, don't die now. Power's down. Is there another route? I've done this before. Just need my focus. Here we go. There's a part missing. Maybe there's a storage area nearby. Hey! I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H-emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker, I... Hey, I'm done with... Done. I should check the door nearby. Found one. Looks intact. Uh. 
That should do the trick. Now let's get that door open. That did it. Door should have power. Now to see what lies beyond it. Eclipse. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia. It's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? So much for avoiding contact.
guide me. Hostile spotted! Clear. For a moment, anyway. Then get moving. You have to find Gaia. <sighs> Hello, I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like... You probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest. I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobeck's office. But it, it sealed. More eclipse. Careful now. Welcome to Apollo, the collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Elbaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us All of this are lost. Specifically, the ancients' greatest to gift to us. And implement four major greatest? How about the fact we exist at all? To the abide in ignorance is a curse, Aloy. You and all people should know that. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. 42 decabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish, and Arabic. Third, the transfer and encoding of all that data onto DNA is encapsulated in synthetic <laughs> The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation of the center. Right back! Damn you all!
find you, it's inevitable. That's the last one. Alone once more. In what should have been a cave of wonders. Welcome to Hades, Zero Dawn's extinction failsafe protocol, the ultimate killer app. Now, I know what you're thinking. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, the only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? Looks like the only way onwards. Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's oh, subordinate functions. For it is oh, by Eleuthia oh, that the human race oh, will continue to exist. Machine. I am Patrick Roger Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome. Alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity. Frozen in time. The genetic qu Cradle facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. Oh, Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. used to hold something. That's what benefit from antelope and amorphologies. 
Though Capric forms show superior load bearing capability. He will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? I'm not gonna put a gun to our head while she's still in the cradle. It's not like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside Allmother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. Suitable death in mind for you, child. <laughs> My entire life, I've always known one thing. certainty that I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Joran was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. It grew when High Priest Bahavas went missing, and when the true Sun King Itamin was snatched away. It not only grew, 
but multiplied. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? See that scar on your cheek? You didn't get to finish. Yes, I remember. He fought well. For a savage. His name was Rost. And he was a better man than you could ever hope to be. The better man is the one who doesn't end up with his guts steaming on the ground. <laughs> no. It wasn't him. I could have finished you before he attacked. But I didn't. This failing troubled my thoughts, haunted every step. It was only when I captured you, down in that place, that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain, meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Meant to eliminate High Priest Bahavas. Meant to snatch Itaman away. Conversely, I was meant to capture you. Here. So that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. Some destiny. You're following orders, not some grand cosmic design. You're a puppet, with Hades yanking the strings, a pawn pushed around by larger forces. It'd be laughable if there weren't so much killing involved. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal sun king to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then you can cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crashed the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the East to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the Sacred Land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus, such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. So 
So you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. Karja Faithful, rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day, soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead, and Holy Meridian ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else? In broad light of day, were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the radiant Turan ordered many faithless crushed beneath the hooves of the behemoth. Mighty is the radiant in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still in beauty and power. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die! Let her be the first of thousands! Without weapons. My weapons are up on the platform. There's no way out of this ring. Maybe I could use its strength against it. That pillar's another hit, and that pillar will come down. Gotta get out of the way. Getting ready to charge. That did it. One more pillar on that platform will come down. And my weapon's with it. That makes a mess. I should try luring the bitch.
Silence! Shadows, kill her! Why leave it to them? Come get me yourself! So you're here. Really here. You risked your life. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, the Nora's sacred mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time, then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file you scanned. Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. But I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Wait. Yes? How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? Really, Aloy? It doesn't take a genius to surmise that Helis would throw you into the sun wing at high noon. I wore out two striders getting here in time, but I did. Now be on your way. Since when can you override machines? Ever since you discovered the technique. I had to destroy a corrupted to obtain the necessary parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through your focus. Truth be told, the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans. Though, of course, far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, I guess. Helis recognized you back in the Sunring. You told me that you'd assisted the Eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... who almost killed me. So now you know. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. Right. I'll be on my way. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora Sacred Land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Well, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not gonna tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Karja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy, when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cruel. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, 
Bro. Ya. No. Trees on fire. The embrace. Watchtower's burning, but... Cancel the search. I got him.
for years. This is my entire world. It can be destroyed in, in hours. I've never heard the embrace so quiet. Company!
Shadow guide me! More cliffs. It's a corrupted thunder jaw, all right? The survivors must be holed up in the mountain. If the tunnel collapses, they'll be buried. And I'll never reach the hatch. That's right! Bring down the mountain! Braves, to Aloy's side, now! For Aloy! For the For our mother! <laughs> Varl and Sona, they're still alive. did it. We only helped. I thought we would die. You saved the tribe. Did what no brave or war chief could do. I'm glad to see you're all right, Varl. You are all right. Since the proving. So much death. Is the killing over? For now, but this was just <coughs> one battle, Varl. There are more to come. I see. So long as we have you to fight with us, I suppose we'll make do. How many survived the attack? Nearly all the matriarchs and many families, goddess be praised. But braves, just a few, and most of them are wounded. Never before. Has an enemy stabbed the heart of our people like this? Even the Karja, in all their red raids, never broke through to the embrace. Well, this enemy may have broken through, but they never got back out. We made sure of that. Tell me about the attack. What happened? They struck from the east. Our sentinels saw the killers coming. Said that beside them marched Deathbringers and Corruptors and other machines, driven mad. We took ground. Met them with clouds of arrows. Some fell, but they kept coming. Finally, we withdrew to the gates of the Embrace to make our stand. But they were too much for us. Those who survived fell back to the mountain. So the survivors took shelter in the mountain? By law, only matriarchs are allowed inside. It was Tirsa who broke the taboo. 
ordered the tribe into the mountain for safety. Lanzra, well, she didn't agree. But I don't think anyone heard her over all the screams and shouting. Tirsa's decision saved lives. Good for her. Common sense isn't always so common around here. Are your injuries serious? Bruises pale. Bones heal. Don't give me a hunting song, Varl. Are you okay? My body aches. But it's nothing that will keep me from fighting. I need to go inside the mountain. And the matriarchs will be eager to see you. I'm sure. But I didn't come here for them. Then... What for? You will see. Aloy! Oh, you've returned! Tep? Aloy! So, you have finally returned. She not only returned, but fought her way through many enemies to reach us. Outside, she brought low a corrupted Thunderjaw. She lifted the siege. How was this done? By the will of all mother. Have you returned to speak with the goddess, Aloy? Um... Yes, I guess you could say that. I think it'll work this time. Sisters, surely we cannot permit this. Because of her, our tribe teeters upon extinction. What if she has come to wake her father, the Metal Devil? She means to finish our destruction. We must stop her. She is a curse made flesh. She will be the end. Excuse me. Aloy! Talk amongst yourselves. Hold for identity scan. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Correction. Alpha registry restored. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. I see you're inside. Figured I might be hearing from you. Shall we begin? I never stopped. So this is Aluthia. This... is where I was born. Where you were made. So these are... So this was it? Where you were born. But... But why? You will. 
Now, in time, children. In time, 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 in Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Welcome to the Rosea. Damn sentinels. Children, may I be of assistance? Go away, Please. healer! What was this Nina, place? you have suffered well bruising. Go away! Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your hello child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Try to access Dr. Sobek. Apollo offline. Apollo offline. You were right, Aloy. This is a graveyard. The charnel house of knowledge. We yeah, might it. have achieved had we not been denied it. This message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime What's the whole of the knowledge transmission of unknown origin? Continue its immediate search. effect was to trans. I will. So, you're even more extraordinary than I thought. I never had a mother. What are you talking about? You had two, a dead woman and a machine. I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. Manufactured by a machine. Born in destruction. And fire. To quench the flames and heal the world. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. It seems you have a destiny to fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. Elizabeth. This message serves to inform Elizabeth. This message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Scan that function rectified. The Luffy 9. Group 1 access unseen. This is going to be interesting.
Aloy, forgive! Forgive! The goddess spoke to you? Um, she did. What did she say? That uh, I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal demon. How, Aloy? How? I, I don't know yet. Um, but she told me where to go to find out. And you will do this? It was her wish. What she made me for. Yes, I will do it. I'll uh, try anyway. All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy anointed, anointed of the Nora. Nora. All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy no, no, anointed of the Nora. Nora. Up. All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy, anointed of the Nora. Nora. First you shun me, now this. I will not be worshipped. I'm not your anointed. I don't belong to you. There's a whole world beyond your borders, whole tribes of people just as good as you. And it is all in danger. It's a world worth fighting for. Not just here, everywhere. How can we help? If you can fight, and you're willing, go to Meridian and wait for me there. As Aloy says, so it shall be. Nora, make way for Aloy. Aloy! That she may forge the path for others to follow. Ever entered the mountain before her. She is the anointed. The goddess hasn't abandoned. Forgive, Aloy. The way to the mountain will be hard. Ferocious machines prowl every step of the climb. More corrupted? Not corrupted, but they will not tolerate humans. So what else is new?
Yeah, it's guarded all right. But I can get through this. Now I know what they're guarding.
Can't be too prepared. Sacrifice. It did this. It cracked the inside of the mountain like it was an egg. Yes, yes. Quickly now. I've prepared the way ahead for you. So you've been in here before? To a point. You'll see. You made a climbing path for me, but left an army of machines for me to deal with? Since when were machines any obstacle for you? If you could fly, I wouldn't have bothered with a climbing path either. Don't look down. Don't look down. This is exactly the kind of place I expected to find you in, Silence. Thank you. It's one of many workshops I've constructed over the years. For years, I tried to get through this hatch. I drilled, I burned, I blasted. But we both know that you won't have any trouble getting through. You make it sound like I should apologize. Not at all. It never occurred to me that the way through would not be with force, but with a key. A key in human form. The failure of imagination was mine, not yours. Looks like you've spent a lot of time here. Nineteen years ago, 
A great explosion destroyed this mountain. Gaia's death, your birth. The echo could be heard as far as the claim. Ash darkened the skies. How they fretted in Meridian as they tried to read this omen. The crater burned for weeks, but when it cooled, I was the first to behold what lay within. Over time, the machines closed ranks to protect it. Useful. Soon, no one dared to come here. Except me. In her message, Gaia said we could restore her, but... After seeing the damage, how could that be? She said any effort to repair her must come after Hades is destroyed. I concur. Rebuilding the terraforming system now might allow Hades to use it as a weapon. Because of Gaia's sacrifice, it has been forced to search for means that are less... convenient. But do you think it's even possible to restore Gaia? You know what the cauldrons are capable of. How they fabricate any technology necessary to create a machine. By the same principle, it should be possible to replicate every technology necessary to repair Gaia. But that would take years, and we're counting the time we have left by the hour. I thought you might actually be here this time. Actually, here. Why? My presence is unnecessary. You don't need my help to pass through this door. You were the one born to do this, not me. It's time for me to head in. Yes. When you find the Master Override, you will gain the power to defeat Hades. Everything depends on you. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Mind your footing. my way across. It's, uh, held like this for 19 years, right? Well... D don't answer. That's over. Uh. Not this way. Maybe further up the shaft.
Elizabeth's room. I know it. She didn't even get a chance to unpack. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed? Scan them. The Focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us, it seems a powerful device, but its engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, weeks, years. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to hear them. Charles Ronson. I'm logging this six hours after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. But this one closed with a 10 millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Now, who would I have signed up for? Either we sent someone out, or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think... Oh, no. Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen, the swarm's too close. Really, it's all right. Guy's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out, that's what she does. Not like this, there's so much we- Guys, you know me, I'm, I'm no good at endings, at letting things end, so, um, let's not. So, Happy trails, Liz. And uh, see you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, all right? Liz. I'm okay with this. I want to go home. Goodbye. That was the last transmission of Elizabeth Sobek. She gave everything for the hope of life on this planet. And we are all in her debt. Aloy? She's gone. Really gone. You knew she couldn't have survived, Aloy. And her achievements were... beyond exceptional. While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. 
You think she was better because she was smart. Because she designed Zero Dawn, but you missed the point. What made her great was that she was willing to sacrifice herself for others, for everyone who would come later. No. She couldn't let her creation fail. You're confusing will for sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel. To care, to sacrifice, to believe in life. Enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for your... loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. There's another section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored, you found the control room. I'm on my way. When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the Alphas were in there. I'm locked out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, <clears throat> I've, um, uh, please, stop trying to access the system, okay? See, see, what this is about is, um, I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. And wh what I'm trying to say is I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're going to give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted. We've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus failsafe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're going to give them the disease. Our disease? No. 
We can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Kate, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone. All of it. Every copy. A sacrifice? It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. Venting atmosphere. is why this is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future blameless men <sighs> he never saw the slaughter in the sun ring everything these people achieved all the knowledge of the old ones evaporated turned to dust scattered to the void like the alphas themselves no not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they made. The world we're living in. It's... it's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Hope. Master Override. It's so small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. The override doesn't override gravity.
You're... here. For a moment. What? Our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been... involved with the Eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades, Aloy, buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered. Such knowledge, you have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse. Helped it build a cult, an army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire. Not Meridian. The Spire. Now why would that be? The Spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva. It's code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems. Hades wants to send a new transmission, to wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse, the robots they've resurrected, they're just a means to an end. An army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Unless you stop it. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse. Everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus. Recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case... The device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception revealed, right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan buried in the jungles of the jewel. So you thought it was a titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it, until my repairs gave it a voice. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the Spire was always its foremost concern. What did it want to know about the Spire? Its precise location, the surrounding geography, who controlled the land, Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I didn't care. I was learning so much. Physics, calculus. You have no idea. And the Shadow Karja? How did they become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A perfect opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity? That's what it was to you? <clears throat> yes. Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. 
All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So yes, it was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse was born. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. But Hades didn't care about Meridian. And neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and vanished tribes. What were a few more? Besides, I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades' specifications. <laughs> a thrilling technical challenge. Especially with the alterations I included of my own design. The ability for you to spy on them. Yes. I may have been foolish enough to serve Hades, but I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call a back door in the network. Secret access, empowering me to monitor all activity and communications. What made you turn on Hades? It certainly wasn't your conscience. Actually, I was troubled the first time I saw the Eclipse raise an ancient war robot. With my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late. Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed work on the Focus Network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. The next moment, I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. So when did I come into this? Our path together? When Olin stumbled on you. System threat detected. That got my attention. A kill order against a savage Nora girl? Why would Hades bother with that? But then I saw that this Nora girl was wearing a focus and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world. Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature. And usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say, is history. The things you've done in the pursuit of knowledge, Silence. Pure recklessness. Aloy, this wasn't a confession to elicit your judgment. <sighs> Unbelievable. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the Master Override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Silence! Where will you go? Elsewhere. And everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing.
to tell Avad that the Eclipse are ready to strike. After what happened with Durval, I know he'll defend the city. But the Spire... We all have our place in the order. Aloy, what brings you to Meridian? A threat. The Eclipse will attack soon, from the west, with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them, god, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades. And it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call, waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. We can't let that happen. I'm trying to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target, Avad. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, Your Radiance. Yes. Send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the City Guard fortify the Western Ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight where the Spire rests. Aloy, allow me to apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. I'm... I'm glad that's behind us. Now. It will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. Quietly does it. Panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. Ah, Aloy. Preparations are underway on the ridge of defenses and at the spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for shards. But many came for you, by name. For me. Don't be so humble. The ridge will be the front line. That's where the city guard are holding? Yes, bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke of before. 
The Osaran cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation will now defend us. You're welcome to tour the defenses. And the Spire. Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Uh, clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries, I suppose. A number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parlay with them. I will. I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. <laughs>